Good morning, warriors. I'm Laura, and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds because on my best days, I'm delusional, and on my worst, a masochist. the worst parts about bronchitis is it's feeling like you have spent all day every day in the gym doing back-to-back -back abs and back and shoulder workouts like honestly coughing should be its own exercise and what is with my hair this morning good lord I have like zero pride in fact I would make a really horrible lioness because I would be like screw you Simba in your pride I want nothing to do with it and I apologize if I sound like I've got like gravel in my throat um, or like I've been smoking like 10 packs of cigarettes but this morning has been a bad morning um, I don't know what it is this time around but I've had days where I feel better and then days where I don't feel better and it's just like it's it's been a roller coaster let's just let's just say that anyways I thought today I would take a few minutes to do like a February recap and share non-skill victories from February because obviously I haven't been doing um, like my weekly weigh-ins and haven't gotten on the scale and I am I'm not going to be getting back on the scale for a while and I'll talk about that in one of my non-skill victories so that's the plan for today so non-skill victory number one is that even though I have been sick with this crap this bronchitis and just asthma shit um I've still been like eating in my caloric range every day I've been trying to work out as much as I can albeit especially like this past week that's been extremely limited because just like five minutes of doing a walking video was leaving me breathless so but I still got up and I still tried to move a little bit every day which you know progress and it's really been a victory for me because historically getting this sick you know short of like one or two days here and there but getting like actually sick where I'm kind of out for the count for days if not weeks on end has been a huge trigger for me when it comes to like binging and just giving up on my journey altogether so definitely <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. Um, definitely a victory for me. Non-skill victory number two is that I met with my doctor and nutritionist at the end of February to brainstorm some new ideas to hopefully um, improve or I guess like speed up my weight loss again. Not that being put on more steroids because of my asthma and bronchitis has helped with that goal at all. I swear. Whoever is pressing my button, can you please lay off? Just take a break. There are labor laws for a reason. I will still be here to torture and stress out when you come back from lunch. The last few months, it's like every single barrier that could come up that could slow down my weight loss has come up. Non-skill victory number three is that my hair loss has decreased a ton. Like, night and day. I don't know. I think part of it is definitely because I've been taking the DIM supplement for a couple months now, but um, even like in the past week when I started taking myoinositol, I've noticed it decrease even more. So who knows within the next couple of months, like these locks may be even more thick and luscious or not. Non-skill victory number four is that I have been doing a better job with getting in more vegetables in my diet. My stomach and digestive system has hated me for it and I've definitely had to chill out my vegetable consumption the past two weeks you know in order to give my toilet a break but i tried you know what the really sad thing is and i was talking to someone in the comments about this is that i love vegetables okay if there is any truth to be universally acknowledged it is that laura lynn loves vegetables it doesn't matter what kind of vegetables even the vegetables that most people hate and make jokes about like cabbage and Brussels sprouts and asparagus like I love them all I mean don't get me wrong like there's a few vegetables here and there that I'm not a fan of but 
I love vegetables. My body just doesn't love them and it sucks. Nazca victory number five is that my sleep has been a little bit better. I've been trying to change up my sleep prep routine a little bit. Um, trying to do more things like turning on my ambiance noise and keep electronics out of bed, no blue light before bed, at least that hour before. Um, some nights I've been drinking like chamomile tea, sleepy time tea, um, you know, just things like that to try and encourage a more restful night of sleep. And it's helping a little bit. I'm hoping that the benefits will be like cumulative and just increase with time as I am consistent and continue to do them. We'll see. non victory number six is that I have actually been enjoying doing my almost daily vlogging. I've kind of been treating it like a weight loss journey diary or video journal. And it's been really cool at the end of the day when I'm like editing videos to be like, wow, I put in a lot of work today. Like I did a really good job. Like you go girl. non victory number seven is that since it has been warming up a lot, I have been trying to spend more time outside going for walks during my lunch hour or at the end of the work day. And it's been really good for getting me up and moving as well as for my mental health. But it's also a bit of a double edged sword because being outside equals allergies, which equals asthma attacks, which equals feeling like I am literally drowning from the inside out on my own phlegm. So it's a bittersweet non-skill victory. And I'm probably feeling a little bit worse today because there have been some days where it's just been so nice outside that I've been like, opening up my door or my windows to try and get some fresh air, you know, moving through my apartment. So that probably hasn't helped. Nasco victory number eight is that my knee has been feeling so much better. That being said, I've also been, you know, avoiding any workouts or exercise that would annoy it, but it's feeling better. At the very least, I haven't been walking around like a 95 year old woman with arthritis on a rainy day anymore. So non victory number nine and just quick menstrual cycle talk warning. Um, I haven't been spotting in between my cycles at all, which is yes. I'm still chalking this one up to starting the dim supplement because that was the only change. And apparently DIM is supposed to support like estrogen metabolization. So I'm thinking like my best guess is that's what it's doing. But it could totally be a coincidence. I don't know. I may just be like deluding myself. And non school victory number 10 is that I truly believed that I was going to be an absolute anxious mess during February and not getting on the scale at all because... I like numbers. I like data. It's a major piece of how I hold myself accountable on weight loss journeys. But this past month, I don't know, I have just felt a lot more mentally and emotionally stable. And the weird thing is, is that I felt even more motivated to do things like stick to my diet and eat my caloric range and get my water and protein in and work out every day and I think this is because there wasn't space in my mind being taken up by the frustration and other negative emotions and all or nothing thoughts that were coming every week from getting on the scale and having to cope with my slow and completely erratic weight loss. <laughs> and I would also say that I've felt a lot less pressured. I think when you put your weight loss journey on YouTube, there is this naturally added layer of pressure and this feeling like you always have to be on the ball and making progress and completely kicking ass when it comes to weight loss every single day, or people are going to be disappointed in you or judge you, which is definitely not fair or realistic, but I definitely felt like in February, that pressure was eased a little bit. All right, warriors. So that is it for this February recap non-scale victory 
video nonsense. Um, please comment down below and let me know what were your non-skill victories for February. And if you did the no skill challenge with you or are still doing it with me, how'd it go? Were you an anxious, worried mess or have you been living the dream life? As always, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing and giving it two thumbs way, way up and make sure to tap that notification bell so you can join me next time. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.